students welcome to top education in this session we are learning corporate accountancy where we are doing first chapter which is underwriting of shares here we are doing the third sum of it so here guys abc limited issued 1 lakh shares of rupees 10 each the shares were underwritten as follows p 50000 q 30000 the public applied for 80000 so the public were applied for 80000 share which included mark application as under these are marked applications these are gross liability okay next what is that let's see solution number of shares issued is this much number of share underwritten by underwriters pq is 80000 so see here uh 50000 is taken by whom 50000 is taken by p 30000 is taken by q then it is total is 80 so this is partial underwriting we can say it is partial underwriting and then we can add 20 also because we need here total 1 lakh okay so this 20000 share is issued by company company's share see public subscribed is 80000 as you know here the public applied for 80000 where the marked application p 12000 q 4000 so total 16000 is minus marked the unmarked barate adu 64000 to get unmarked application total uh, uh, total application available total application avail total application minus marked application so we'll get unmarked application next statement particulars pq company if you want you add total also if not leave gross liability 50 as mentioned there 30 as mentioned there 20 how we got because we need 1 lakh here total total we need 1 lakh so 20000 as mentioned here done next we have balance so minus down less unmarked application unmarked application we have this now we have to make this 50 is to 5 is to 3 is to 2 that will be very good 5 is to 3 <coughs> is to 2 so we have to divide the amount here minus so here what happened guys is unmarked application is only going to so the mark application we have done again we have unmarked application here this question is a little bit different as we did at last that was a little bit different and this is little bit different there was g u m but here we have g m u because guys here the uh, uh, they ask different different questions also so here they have the determine the liability of underwriters you are required the statement same and you will get if you get surplus so minus you have got uh, minus same amount you take down and divide this for this both minus made this you will get nil minus 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 only so net liability is this much okay so uh we'll do one more sum where we will do uh which will, which will be very good and complicated so you all will understand quickly yeah let's know this embassy limited issued 5 lakh equity shares of rupees 10 each a b c and d underwriters the entry issued in the ratio is 4 is to 3 is to 2 is to 1 respectively so this is the ratio where you will divide your gross liability and the total see in the uh, in the consideration of commission allowed by law application were received for 4 lakh 45000 application received Uh, uh, this is the total gross liability okay the shares of which marked application were as follows this all are marked application you are required to find out the liability of each underwriter commission receivable by each underwriter so how much we are paying the commission also we have to calculate here and that uh, this have come in october 2001 oh my god when we were born actually so solution unmarked uh, so calculation of unmarked application where the total application received minus marked application will get this what 
unmarked application and here also particulars a b c d as i said total column should be there so you will get extra marks also so gross liability you will divide on this basis of this 5 lakh into 4 divided by how much that is 3 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 so 12 so this all amount will come next unmarked application this the total you have to divide into 3 is to 4 is to 3 is to uh, 4 is to 3 is to 2 is to 1 as it is then minus marked application aki you will get surplus because minus sign is here so you will divide this 3 you will divide to this 3 of this amount into 3 is to 2 is to 1 you will leave this 4 3 is to 2 is to 1 okay then minus again minus came again you distribute then at last innu minus bandre innu maadi adu okay no problem then nil nil il amount barate amount ivaga gross liability tagonbeku gross liability into 10 10 yeng bantu each 10 so we'll take 10 is equal to 20 lakh into 5 divided by 100 5 divided by 100 andre ille avaru kottirtare 5 is the ratio or we can say 5 is the percent of that so here they have not mentioned i think yes but also anyway they have they have to give 5 uh, percent kotre nevu idu maadabodu illa andre nim inda sadhyave illa ashte helta idini okay so you will calculate for each underwriters a b c and d so this was like how we have to do is we'll do one more sum which will be very complicated okay we'll do this one it will be very good so nishkal limited issued 2 lakh 50 thousand shares of 10 each which was underwritten as follows mr a 75000 shares firm underwriting 8,000 shares. So here we also have firm underwriting. Mr. B, 60, uh, 62,500 shares. Firm underwriting, 12,000 shares. Mr. C, 62,500 shares and firm underwriting is nil. Mr. A, uh, 50,000 shares and uh, firm underwriting is 30,000 shares. The total application excluding from underwriting by including market application were for 1,80,000 shares. The market applications were as under. The market application are this. And uh, this are, what is this? Uh, Mr. D shares. Calculate the net liability of each underwriter. A. B. Firm underwriting as marked application and firm underwriting as unmarked application so here we will have some great confusion okay so let's see here ratio is 30 is to 25 how we have did is uh, according to the total amount of this okay so total application minus uh, firm underwriting add firm underwriting also then marked application also then less marked application so they are doing something and all so here total application application received excluding from underwriting excluding from underwriting all are this amount add firm underwriting because here also we have to add firm underwriting firm underwriting this amounts will add here same here the total okay the total is the total application received minus marked application will do will get unmarked applications done till here next will do so marked applications when firm underwriting is treated as marked application so here illinois when uh, we are writing this marked application so m comes first when we are doing unmarked application u is coming first so that is the different i uh, know that no 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 it's uh, same only where i will teach you wait 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 so a so gross liability as mentioned there we will divide the two lakh fifty thousand shares and we'll do it then unmarked application we have received we will divide on this and less firm application also applications where we will do this things and all okay and then we have less firm underwriting being marked application so we'll minus the 
form under writing from here then surplus because minus sign hand come again surplus because minus sign hand come then add again we are adding form under writing first we are minusing then we are adding here in marked application but here what happened is unmarked application we have not taken un, uh, this firm underwriting less madilla uh, direct now firm underwriting kelgade add martta idivi actually so 40000 marked application here also 40000 so we are not minusing here firm underwriting for unmarked application for unmarked application we are not minusing we are not minusing firm underwriting we are adding only at the last but here we are less also and here we are adding that is only the comedy or we can say the difference between this two sums so thank you guys for watching this video if you like then please subscribe our channel top education thank you